Hi everyone, welcome back to my stewed and my channel. So I'm going to make a geode. And the first thing, so I've cut this out with my jigsaw and this is in well, one of my earlier videos. I bought a jigsaw and I like to cut out. I know you can buy, you know, silicone molds for geodes, but you're limited because you have to follow their designs. And quite frankly, I think those are limited and I like to make my own designs and jigsaws are so simple to use. I will leave a link to my video. I think it, oh, I think it's like, I don't know, number 60 something. I'll leave a link to my jigsaw video in the description below and you can cut out any shape you want. It is so simple and then you're not going to be so generic like everyone else who makes geodes. So the first thing I'm going to do is just going to coat this with some paint, basically like gessoing it. This is just plyboard. Okay, so the undercoat paint is pretty much dry. It doesn't really matter if it's completely dry at this point. So I have my resin, my hardener and my resin. And um, for the beginners, I want you to see the difference. So the hardener is, you can see how fluid the hardener is. It is much runnier. And the ideal room temperature for resin is kind of like 70. 75 degrees. If your room temperature is cold, it's really not going to mix terribly well, so you should probably put it in like a, um, you know, plastic bath, like a, um, uh, you know, one of those plastic container baths with the caps on before you mix it. So that's the hardener. Oh, I'm hoping you can see this. Just about. Let me move this a little bit more in the camera. And then the resin you can see is much, much thicker. Um, some people think if you add more hardener, it's going to make it harder. It's actually the other way around. If you want it to be like, harder, it would be better to add like a fraction of an ounce more resin to make it harder but don't 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 try to do that until you're really really confident with resin and you really know what you're doing that's for experienced resin people then you can start playing around with it but don't do it until you have many years of practice because otherwise you're going to end up with sticky messes. Okay, so I'm going to get ahead and mix this and I will be back. Okay, we are back. 
And in here, I have a mixture of some large acrylic crystals, kind of this size, and some smaller ones. And in here, I have those small ones. And I'm going to mix those with some cut glass ones. That's good. That's for around the center. And I have some shards coming, which should be here tomorrow. And I'm also going to put some glitter. So for the shards, I'm going to have to, I might have to put the shards literally here, around the, the bottom. So here's my resin mixed. I am going to add the resin to my crystals. Don't need a huge amount. I'm going to mix those in. And move always out of the way. I like to use a spoon. Spoon and my hand. And just put these right up to the edge. And for this, I'm going to put you on time lapse. To lay down, and now the inner layer. And this has got the glass shards in it. And you can be quite haphazard with it because basically, you know. Tidy it up with your fingers. Dropping some in there, but like this. because I've got these really beautiful um, long shards coming that I'm going to glue around here and then cover those up with some more of these with a clear coat of resin. But for now, I want to get a good layer of this down and drying.
So I know when you see these geodes, you think, oh my God, they look so complicated, but they're really not. It looks like a challenge to take on. But once you start, it kind of all comes together. So now, the final thing I'm going to add to this is a little bit of glass glitter just to give it some extra sparkle. And what doesn't stick will shake off tomorrow. Um, and I haven't decided yet if I will add a small mirror behind this. I may or I may not. But we will come back this is going to be black and white, silver and gold. I want it to be quite kind of monochrome. So we'll come back and do the next stage in the morning. Okay, so now I'm building my geode shards that arrived, two different companies. And I think I prefer these because they seem to be really clear. I've got my heat gun getting warm. So the first thing I'm going to do is hot glue them just to hold them in place. And you can see around the inside edge, I've left um, a space to keep, so I can like have some space to hot glue them. In my last video, I had someone saying they couldn't hear me. And I think it was because probably the background music was a little too loud. And sadly, I lost my microphone for my camera and I have looked for it high and low. I can't find it. Anyway, here we go. Got my hot glue gun. I got my shards. I always think it's just easier to place the shards with hot glue gun first and I'm going to do a time lapse on this. which you can see is fairly easy actually. That just secures them. I'm going to unplug my hot glue gun. much more geode like. I'm gonna sprinkle some, ooh, this is brand new, 
some glitter glass over that and sweep this off and then I'm going to mix some resin and pour some resin over the shards just to make sure that's like absolutely concreted in place. Okay, so now I have my gold leaf and you have to use special brushes with gold leaf. I'm uh, not gonna be fussy on where it falls. Well, I'm hoping it's not gonna stick to the resin. So the brushes I use are like very like square headed and bristly and yeah it's going to get in between the rocks but that's okay that's going to add some interest. It's not like I'm painting it on. I'm gonna pour resin to keep my shards in place. Oh. And around the edge to keep my gold. in place, it's too expensive to lose. I have to speak up. Somebody said, actually I was talking too quiet in my last video, but I actually don't think I was talking too quiet. Lucy, hi Lucy, Lucy. What? One of my doggies, actually it's not my dog, my daughter's dog. Oh, let's get that, let's put that in there. Another piece of gold. Let's get that. Any other pieces of gold? Pieces of gold. Let's get them in there. Um, oh, yeah. I've done all, the, all of that. Um... Oh my gosh, I have three dogs at the moment. I have two. I'm looking after my daughter, so three dogs. And here's my husband. I'm videoing, but he's coming down. Hello, darling. It's disappeared. Gets embarrassed on video. Let's get some more of this gold on the rocks. Ooh, don't want too much. Don't want it gaudy. Okay. That's good. Oh, maybe it was a bit missing here. That good? That look glam? Glam geode? Don't need any in the middle, I don't think. Maybe. Maybe just a scrap or two. Just a scrap. Okay. 
We'll be back when this is all dry to add some monochromatic colour, black, white and silver. I hope everything's in the frame. I have a new tripod and so let me know if you like it or not. So really busy stuff going on here. Here's my Grime Boss wipes which are fantastic. If you have a spool you resin, they are great. Put those away. Um, I have Naked Fusion's 24 karat gold, the resin's mixed. I wore my ventilator, mixing my resin. Put that aside. So 24 karat gold. I've got titanium. I have a mixture in here of um, Artist Loft, Metallic White and Naked Fusions Pearl Necklace. That's in there. This is Artist Loft Ivory Black. And remember, when you're using paint, don't put more than 10% in because otherwise it kind of just goes thick and it won't mix. And in here I have um, Sargent Art Acrylic Paint Metallic, which is similar to the Naked Fusion, but this, when it, the Naked Fusion, when it dries, is much more iridescent. So I'm gonna try and keep those apart. And I've made sure that my cutout geode is completely level. I've got my markers, which I'll use when this layer is completely dry. I've tested those out. So, without further ado, let's get started. And it's good to use paper cups because you can pinch them and create a little nozzle. So I think I'm going to do this in time lapse. about using your iPhone for recording. If someone calls, it stops recording. So what I did was I popped all the bubbles with my torch. So annoying. Then I took my heat gun. And what a heat gun does is, I'll do a little bit now for you. Um, you can not only does it pop bubbles, but it also helps blend all the colors together. So you can see it takes away the harsh lines. Um, let me do a little bit for you now. Oh, it's so annoying when it stops recording. So here, let me show you. Sorry about that. Anyway, so um, I'm going to have to go back and see what you did see. Um, I think you saw me put all the colours down. I put some more 
diamonds on the gold. I used the heat gun to blend it all around. I'm going to leave it to dry overnight. And then tomorrow I'm going to come back and I'm going to use the silver marker only to come and do some highlights of, you know, the geo shapes. And then I'll put a flood coat over the whole thing. I'm going to put hooks on the back, one here and probably one here, depending on whoever buys it and how they want to hang it. Um, I will probably paint some edges silver or put some silver leaf around it. And um, there are some kind of, um, you know, little drips of resin on the back, which I'll take off with my heat gun kind of plow thingy. And uh, yeah, we'll finish it off. I'm going to bring you in really close for this bit. And by the way, I discovered a way so phone calls can't interrupt my video. You put it on airplane mode. And I also look back at the video that I did yesterday and you really didn't miss much. So what I'm going to do now is get rid of these kind of little um, knobbly bits on the back before I then um, I'm going to tape up the back and then finish the sides up nicely before I then paint the sides and do a nice clean um, painting on the back and then do a flood coat on the front. So I'm going to show you that. So you take your heat gun and hopefully you have one of these attachments. Um, if you don't have one of these attachments, what you could do is take um, where's my exacto knife? Take your um, heat, you know, your torch, and just heat each little knobble up, and then take an exacto knife and peel it off. But to be honest, that takes a long time. So this is. Let me get some heat going first, and I'm not going to show you all of this. I'm going to do this off camera, but I'm just going to show you. Um, the start of it um, so and ha obviously have some wood underneath because you don't want to melt your plastic and you just go around the edges and they just Okay. Easy. Easy peasy. Okay. So see how simple that was? And I mean, if there are any little rough patches, you could take a little bit of sandpaper because I'm going to paint this back in silver to make it all neat and tidy and I'm going to put a d-ring here and a d-ring here so whoever buys it can can hang it. I painted the back and masked it so I get no drips on the back. I've wiped all of this down with some isopropyl alcohol. Now all I have to do is add a few silver lines just to make, make it a little more geode-like. So I think I'm just gonna add a few inside here. Not many. Just to highlight a couple of shapes. Where am I going? Here. Yeah. One there and possibly 
one just inside the gold area. Like so. I'm going. Yes, I think that's I think that's enough. It's completely level. I've double checked every angle. And let's go with the final the final coat. And well, I said it'd be completely finished. I am going to put a mirror on the back. So that still has to be done, but that's easy. And the D hooks, the D rings to hang it. So this here. Just gonna spread this out with my fingers. Don't want the last coat to be too thick. Oh, there's plenty on here. I'll just go over it with a torch. Pop the bubbles. And we'll come back in the morning. I've decided it's the next day and it turned out fantastic. There's hardly any drips on the back. There's a couple. But I think that's because the um, chunky crystals provided a barrier anyway. So I'm just going to peel off the backing tape. And I've marked two with Sharpie, two dots where the corners that I want to put the D-rings on. areas will just peel off just by picking at them. And that's because this is the next morning and the resin, it's it's dry, but it is, you know, somewhat soft. Like if you were to stick your fingernail in it, it would make a mark. It's fully cured in three days. And the resin I used actually for the top coat was different that I used for the bottom coat. Bottom coat I used Naked Fusion resin and then I decided to try KS resin. 
and it's pretty good actually. So that works well. There, see how that came off nicely. And because it's wood and I didn't use a mold, I can use um, quite thick D-rings. Sometimes you have to do some trickery with art. And this was one of those moments. And the reason I've used different color crystals here, and you're probably wondering, what is she doing with these crystals? Um, I'm using a different color because I want you to be able to see them. So I got my mirror and I'll hold it up this way for now. When I laid it flat, it wouldn't lay flat. And I was thinking, why won't it lay flat? And you'll see some of these shards are sticking this way so it wouldn't lay flat. And I was thinking, oh my God, what am I gonna do? I have to think of a way. So when I flip this over, the mirror will lay flat on top of these crystals and won't get in the way of the glass shards are underneath. So this will act as like a kind of platform. And it also give a sort of 3D effect. I'm just hoping they don't all slide into the hole. That's why I keep wiping this glue away to keep it in its position. So what I'm gonna do now is I've got this, um, this is an industrial strength E6000. It's different from the regular E6000. So now I'm gonna put some of this on top of these, just a strip. And then flip the mirror over. And let it dry. So now I'm going to flip the mirror over and pop this on. And unfortunately, I wanted to get an eight inch mirror and the biggest I could get was a seven inch mirror. But it'll work. Just didn't give me a lot of space either side. So this is fine. That should dry just fine. And now it's lying flat. So, without further ado, we will let this baby dry. Oh, and the other thing, I decided not to put another D-ring on because I thought whoever buys it might get confused because the other D-ring was gonna go here and the idea was you could hang it that way or this way and I thought well if it arrives and someone hasn't seen the video they might put picture wire between the two and I don't know that's just my artistic view it wouldn't look as good hanging that way all right so that's it when that's dry we'll flip it over and it's finished it's hanging on the wall and I'll bring you in for some details there's the mirror in the middle you can see not going to show you my ugly reflection in it, but you can see some details. So this will be on my Etsy store probably. I'm going to give it a few more days to let the resin get rock hard. So probably in about three days. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And... I will see you next time. Be safe, everyone.
Bye.